Hi all. This video is a brief introduction to the checkout field editor for WooCommerce plugin. This powerful plugin from ThemeHi covers almost all the requirements to customize checkout fields on your WooCommerce checkout page. Let's start with a sample checkout page, which has been customized with the plugin. I will just highlight the changes one by one that I have implemented using the plugin. By creating heading field types like contact details, the fields have been categorized into groups. Some of the default checkout fields are disabled and rearranged. Other than this, the unnecessary field labels have been removed. Instead, suitable placeholders are set for these fields. With the hidden field type, I have overridden the billing country field so that the field is no longer displayed on the checkout page. This can be quite handy in the case of the shop owners who are selling only within a particular country. A sample custom radio field is also added to the checkout page. As you can see, the checkbox group field is displayed conditionally based on the value of the radio field. Head, I will introduce the field types available in this plugin. The text input field types other than normal text field are hidden field, password, email, number, telephone and text area. With the field types like select, multi-select, radio, checkbox and checkbox group, you can provide the customer with options to choose from. Use date picker and time picker field types to collect date and time from customer. With the file upload field type, even collect media through checkout page. Other than all these field types, with heading and label field types, provide information to your customers. Now, let's see how the fields can be managed as sections. Other than the default sections billing, shipping and additional fields, with the checkout field editor, you can create custom sections. It is much easier to organize the custom fields this way. For a custom section, you can choose a position from multiple positions within the checkout page. Most often, not all fields needs to be displayed at the checkout page always. Either they must be displayed based on a product in the cart or based on another field's value. In such cases, Checkout Field Editor plugin provides vast options to display fields conditionally. Let's take a look at it. The custom fields or sections can be conditionally displayed based on product, product variation, product category and product tag. The fields and sections can be even be displayed conditionally based on user role. There are multiple possibilities for setting conditional rules based on a field value, date picker, checkbox and more. Other than all these options, Checkout Field Editor provides conditional display of fields based on shipping and payment methods as well. Now, let's take a look at the price types provided by the plugin. For all the text input field types, the price types available are fixed, custom, percentage of cart total, subtotal and dynamic. For the option input field types, the price types available are fixed, percentage of subtotal, total and subtotal excluding tax. Rather than just displaying the fields at checkout page, the custom fields can also be managed from the My Account page. All you have to do is to enable the option user metadata for displaying the fields in My Account page. With custom validators, the field input values can be validated. With a sample scenario, I will explain the feature. For the field customer ID, I have set a custom validator to validate the entered value based on a regular expression. While an invalid input is entered, a warning notification will be prompted. By setting a confirm field validator for the field confirm customer ID, the value will be accepted only while the entered value matches with the customer ID field. I'll explain how the validators can be configured. Set a custom validator by setting a name and label for the validator. Then enter required validation as a regular expression prefixed with backward slash and caret and suffixed by dollar and backward slash. Finally enter the notification message. Now let's see how a confirm field validator needs to be configured. Like custom field validator, enter a name and label. Enter the field name of the field that needs to be matched with. Finally enter the notification message. Most often, not all fields needs to be displayed in the transactional emails, thank you page and order details page. By enabling or disabling the options display in admin emails, display in customer emails, display in order detail pages and display in thank you page, the display of fields can be managed. With the address format override feature, the default address format can be modified. 
In the sample case displayed here, I have included a custom field to the default address format using this feature. To learn how to configure the address format, you can watch the tutorial video shared in our channel on this topic. With the most recently introduced repeat rules feature, you can set to display a field or group of fields to repeat, based on the total cart quantity or quantity of a particular product. In this sample case, I have set repeat rule for a section based on the cart quantity. As the number of products in cart is 3, the set of fields will be displayed thrice. There are many more features for this powerful plugin like Zapier support and multilingual support. The plugin is super developer friendly with custom hooks. Also, it offers compatibility with many of the popular plugins. And yet more features. Stay tuned for more updates and plugins from Theme High.